Hey everyone, welcome to the Eleanor Loyalty Challenge. In this game, we'll attempt to conquer every opponent's capital through loyalty. The catch is we can only settle one city and we can't use the Void Singer's cultist unit, so secret societies are turned off. Unlike my production challenge with England and my population challenge with Byzantium, we're playing this game on a randomly generated small Pangaea map with five other players and on deity difficulty. We chose Eleanor because of her ability to immediately flip cities with great works. I really like this five food tile for fast growth, but I think I'm gonna move over here to get a three one starting tile and have uh, a little more production. I wanna to go to religion, so we'll start with astrology and then we'll start making a scout. Found a tribal village here and just got a first meet with Vatican City. Uh, when you activate a great person, they spread 400 religious pressure of your founded or majority religion to cities within 10 tiles. And Fez to our north, not a first meet, so we must have a neighbor fairly close, which is good. When you use a religious unit to convert a city for the first time, earn 20 science per population of that city on standard speed. So that'll be good. Let's see what we get here. An envoy, okay. Maybe put, it that, put that in Fez. Scout is ready, so we'll go explore up north. And let's start on a monument. I want to at least make an attempt for feed the world religion. So I'm gonna go ahead and push through astrology. It'll time fairly nicely with the monument. If I miss feed the world, I'll just go with Jesuit education. Here's Poundmaker. I can't tell where he is yet. Looks like a natural wonder right after I finished astrology. Oh, Mount Rurema. And we were the first to see it. Minus eight on Poundmaker, so I'm not even gonna send him a delegation. He'll probably denounce me any turn. Finished the monument, so let's do the holy site. And here's the denunciation. <laughs> See what we get here. The wheel. Simone Bolivar. Not sure where he is either. I don't want to research animal husbandry, or there could potentially be horses under this tile, and then that would mess up my whole district planning. Since I'm going with fertility rights for my Pantheon, I will have a builder pretty soon but I don't have the tiles to improve yet, so I'm gonna push through craftsmanship. I hit this scout for four experience, so I got the promotion even though I didn't kill him. So we'll, uh, we'll fortify, cancel, and then promote, and we should have full, full uh, health almost next turn. Tiles are still cheap, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this right now. Here's Poundmaker with all his troops. So uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna go into the city to give it more garrison strength. Maybe that'll be enough. And it's war. He moved a couple troops back, which was interesting. If he just has this one warrior here, he won't be able to take this. So I'm just gonna sit in there. I'll start hitting if more of them come. Just unlocked our Pantheon. So let's go ahead and take fertility rights for the builder and then mainly for the growth rate. I'll get a warrior now. Here's Lady Six Sky, up north. Pretty lucky here, I haven't seen Poundmaker's other troops. I think I'm just gonna knock this guy out. He did pillage my holy site, so I'm pretty much gonna give up on Feed the World. I think I'll probably just go for Jesuit education. We'll be able to buy theater square buildings in our new cities that we acquire through loyalty. Um, and then we can fill those buildings with great works immediately. Monitori. Found us. It looks like Poundmaker has two wars, so maybe that's why he backed off those other two warriors. Super lucky for us. I put the injured unit into the city center to heal a little quicker, and we have the other guy fortified in the forest. Just met Jerusalem, so your cities with holy sites exert pressure as if they were holy cities. Four times religion pressure on all cities within ten tiles. Camp just spawned two tiles out from my borders. First governor, let's get Pingala into Paris. Looks like Poundmaker's here taking out this camp. Let's uh, let's give him a hit and then let's make peace with him. This is gonna be a really long era for deity. Usually it goes around turn 45, it goes into the classical era, but we're at least turn 48. It's pretty crazy. Just found a foreign continent. This might be an issue with loyalty. I'm hoping this thing ends down here. Really lucky here. We're gonna miss out on the Dark Age, but we'll just get a Normal Age and then the Golden for the Medieval Era. Gilgamesh, let's go ahead and become his friend right away. 
Just finished our government plaza, so let's take the culture promotion. It looks like this land does continue down here, which is a real relief. And it looks like we have a natural wonder here, Matterhorn. To speed up our religion, I'm gonna take Grants with Pingala. Getting attacked by barbarians, classical era, normal age. Everybody else has a golden age. Uh, let's go with three inquiry. Reached our tier one government, so we'll go with Classical Republic. Here's our prophet. Catholicism's taken, so I guess we'll go Protestantism. And then we want Jesuit education. I think Gurdwara would be pretty nice too, so we'll take that. Let's buy our missionary and go convert probably Fez. We have two quests to train an archer, so Fez and Yerevan. So let's get an archer. Taking Pingala's science promotion. We just reached drama and poetry, so that means we can put in our theater square now. And we can also play the writer points. Poundmaker just settled right here, so that's awesome. That is exactly what we want. Um, hopefully Lady Six Sky, maybe she'll settle down here somewhere at some point. We just finished a Civic and put in the Diplomatic League card and put our three envoys into the three city-states that we didn't have any envoys in yet. And now we finished military tradition in one turn and we're switching back out of that. So we're only in that card for one turn. My city is under siege, but fortunately barbarians can't raise capital cities. Finally took care of the barbarians. Wow, got our first writer here. I have only nine turns left in the era. I still have 11 points I need to get to get a golden age. So I'm gonna take a Mani and put her in a city state and hopefully get first suzerain. Here come the missionaries from the Mayans. So I might have to declare war and then condemn them. So I can't lose my, my capital. I put an envoy into Vatican City hoping to get first suzerain in the era points, but someone has already been suzerain. Camp just spawned here outside my borders, so maybe that'll give me enough era points. We did become first suzerain of Candy, so that's two. Cleared the camp. I'll chop the watermill for uh, Eureka. Okay, I basically have two turns to get four era points now. I have an idea. I'm probably gonna buy this writer with faith when I have about 41 points there. That's one point. I'm gonna try to chop these walls. So that's another point with the Eureka. And then maybe levy two city-states. I just did a bunch of trades, so now I'm up over 500 gold. Let's levy Jerusalem. So that's one era point. Let's levy candy. That's another. And if we get these walls and the writer, then we have it. I'm gonna sell off my great work temporarily. I'll buy it back later. I'm gonna buy this tile here to chop next turn. Let's put in limes to chop that tile into the walls. Okay, that's one more error point. And we can't get the great writer. We need 340 faith and we have 332. And this should do the trick for levying the city state. Yes. We have a golden age. Oh, that's a game changer. This is great. We're the only ones with a golden age. Uh, I wish Poundmaker had a dark age and Simone, but um, I'll take this. That's, that's pretty good. Big thing about this golden age is just the pressure. Maybe we can pick up a city in this era. And look at this. We already have one flipping. That is awesome. Rebellion in 12. No governor in there. A governor will fix that, but hopefully we can keep that pressure going. We got a relic from seeing Mato Tapilla, thanks to Candy. Second writer here. This will really help when we get our amphitheater in three turns. I'm going to get an apostle. I think that'll be a good investment. Maybe evangelize religion or fight off rival missionaries. I just gave the apostle the translator promotion. So we're going to go down here and convert this city to our religion. And then the loyalty, I think we get an extra three. Oh, the city already converted on its own just now. Minus 14. Here we go. We just got it. Awesome. First one. I'm going to take Magnus and put him in this city since our loyalty is dropping. And we can use his second promotion to grow faster eventually. Wow, this city already has musketmen out here. Turn 106. Fez got conquered. I didn't even notice, but it looks like that's flipping to us as well. Wow, minus 14. We have Yerevan, so we can choose from any promotion here. I just bought another apostle. I'm gonna go with Debater. Right now I have Amani and Candy. I'm gonna move her to Jerusalem, because then we can start to really pressure these cities. A little worried about the Mayan army heading down here, so I'm gonna repair my walls, gonna upgrade to a crossbowman, and then I can always put in the uh, Bastion's card. Yeah, sure enough, war. We lost the chariot, 
Let's sub these guys. And then I'm gonna upgrade this one. He has the plus 10 garrison. And we got Fez. More rebellion out here. And we managed to um, destroy most of Lady Six Guy's army. Making peace with Lady Six Guy. In this city, I want a theater square to put great works. So I'll go ahead and build that. Let's promote Amani. Other cities within nine tiles not owned by you lose two loyalty. Yet another wave of musketmen this time. We're way behind in our units. Picked up a new city from Cree. Just finished our theater square down here, so I'll buy an amphitheater with faith. And then put in the Renaissance era now. Um, Dark Age here, so this will be tough hanging on to our cities. Darks for Simone and Gilgamesh, normals for everyone else. So we'll have to figure out something here. I think we'll just have to give this city up and get it later. Tier 3 government, we'll take Merchant Republic. We almost got this city too, but now it's turned around. Okay, we lost this little city, but that's fine. When we finished our theater square in Fez, so we'll buy an amphitheater. Put in the Great Works. Wow, so Kree got this city back and it's actually rebelling back to us. I think it's because of the great works probably that we've been getting. I'm gonna work on Taj Mahal down here. This will help us get golden ages going forward. Suddenly my growth stopped. So I looked down at my housing and it's two less than before. So I looked at governors and sure enough, Pingala was neutralized. Let's get a research alliance with Nubia. She has a ton of science. So maybe when we get to the higher level alliance, we can um, get some boosts and stuff. Just got this city back, industrial era. Okay, so we have a normal age, which isn't ideal, but it looks like Poundmaker has a dark age, so there might be some opportunity there. Let's make sure we get Taj Mahal. I miss Angkor Wat down here, so we'll go ahead and chop. Looks like we'll be able to hold on to this city with a governor. Let's start the bread and circuses. We got one heading down here. That's a nice big city. That would be awesome. Wow, both of these are rebelling now. That's crazy. They're pretty big too. If we get these, everything will just fall. We got one. It's incredible. We're, this is negative 16.2 and we're not even in a golden age. We got our spy packed here. So um, hopefully we get that. Yeah, cool. We haven't gotten to spies yet, but we'll get to them soon. Got another one here, a third Cree city. Paris is almost out of range of any cities. It's like nine tiles out from some of the Mayan cities. So its population will only have a 10% effect on them. So I'm gonna convert this into a production city and um, make builders and spies and filter those out to the other cities. I'm gonna go ahead and put in Machiavellianism and start working on some spies. Just finished our intelligence agency, so let's take this spy to here and try to maybe remove the governor. Swing the city. My big problem right now is production. I need to get the theater squares going so I can put the great works in. Need to finish Bolshoi, get the spies done. I put governors in all the border cities to go with the audience chamber for extra housing and amenities so they can grow faster and we can flip. We just got another spy here. Let's wait three turns till the new era to see who's in a golden age and a dark age. Entering the modern era, dark ages for both Poundmaker and Lady Six Sky. That is perfect. And we have a golden age, so there should be some dramatic loyalty shifts here. Another spy here. Let's send this one to the capital. It's only plus five loyalty. We can try to remove the governor and then foment unrest. We're gonna get this city, it looks like, so it should put a lot of pressure here. Also finished the, th the theater square here, so we'll go ahead and put in the great works. And this theater square is actually within range of these cities because it's not where the theater square is located, it's where its city is. Lady Six Guys cities will be a little harder, but we'll send this spy there and see what we can do. We just got double great writer points, so that'll help. Our spy just finished his gain sources mission, but now this is flipping in one turn. We'll probably move him over here to the uh, Mayan city. We got it. Our spy just arrived here, but now it's rebelling in 10 turns. So let's go ahead and move this one to here. Maybe we can grab that city. Here's Bolshoi. A camp just spawned right here, like right in the middle of our cities. And it looks like Grand Columbia just lost their capital at some point to uh, Nubia. Wow, Nubia is really doing great. She's already la launched her moon landing. 
Another Cree city. We got the capital. Chichen Itza with no jungle. <laughs> and Great Bath. That's kind of cool with the fee. They also have a coal plant. We also got this city on the same turn. Some rebellion down here now. That's good. Minus 6.6. Gonna sell some coal to try to get my gold back in the positive. I was like minus 60. From now on, I'll just be running this card to speed up the operations 25% and the production will be good too. Now it's only six turns to do one of these missions. Starting to make a dent here in the loyalty. Just got an artifact, so that's helping. The city is only five tiles away, so I'm gonna run bread and circuses. This spy just finished her mission, uh, so I gave her a disrupt rocketry promotion. And let's go to Nubia and try to slow down her space projects. Got another Cree city, so they're down to one two population city for their capital. That's payback for him stealing my gold in my population game. Another camp spawned two tiles out from my borders. I notice they do that a lot now. Neutralized a governor here in the big city. Wow, 23 population. That's going down pretty quick. Building a national park to boost radio. Just got our first Grand Columbia city. Let's foment unrest here. I think it'll time out pretty well. 12 turns till rebellion. We could get it a little quicker. Two traders here. I want to grow this city fast. It has a lot of housing, but it just doesn't have food. So um, hopefully we can start flipping Gilgamesh pretty soon. Neutralized another governor out here, so this should fall pretty quick. Here's a nice promotion that I want. Foment unrest as if two levels more experience. Let's send this guy to the capital here, and uh, I think we could do quite some damage. This city is within nine tiles of six cities here. So let's buy a broadcast center with faith and get a work of music in there. My spy just arrived in Nubia's capital. Looks like their spaceport is already pillaged. So I think they have one more. I'll probably just go to that city. They haven't launched their exoplanet expedition yet. One really good sign is this city is only eight population. So if I can absorb I'm about to get Quito next turn, and then hopefully I can start absorbing some of these cities. Two big flips just now. Beautiful. And then this one's flipping soon. Our spy was successful, so they're down to zero. We should have that next turn. If we can get this, that would be huge. We could probably take a lot of our cities pretty quickly. Ah, it was me. We got it, 23 population. Everything else should be pretty quick. This is crazy. This city has 23 population and only five production. I have never seen anything like that. Looks like a city state is rebelling. I didn't know city states could rebel. Our spy has arrived in the other spaceport city. Now the big question is, do I go straight for disrupt rocketry or do I, or do I gain sources first? It would be too bad if she launches that. But I would hate to lose this this spy too. She has um, disrupt rocketry. I think I'm gonna gain sources. It's only six turns. We're gonna have a new era in five turns, and I think we get we can play the spy dedication. I took a look at my great works and shuffled some things around. I want all my great works on the edges of my empire for the maximum pressure. And it looks like Nubia has launched their exoplanet expedition, so we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Sending in my army of missionaries and apostles. Extra loyalty pressure. Jerusalem, it's so strange. That was a city-state and it rebelled to, I didn't know city-states could rebel. Okay, here's the breakdown. I'm the only one with a golden age, so that's good. This'll be good. We can absorb Grand Columbia. Nubia though, normal age. It's better than a golden. She just came out of a golden, so that's, this is better, but dark age would have been really nice. Spies take no time to establish presence and then time to complete offensive missions reduce 25%. Another Grand Columbia city here. I just noticed the Mayans must have raised Vatican City. So now it's harder to spread my religion. And we were successful here uh, with the spaceport. So at least he's only moving one light year per turn. So we probably have 40 turns or so left if we can keep that. Looks like she's repairing her spaceport here though. So we'll need to move this guy. Got a city up here. I don't know whether this was Gilgamesh or Nubia. I'm gonna guess Gilgamesh because of the mountains. Wow, looks like Nubia is taking over uh, Gilgamesh. Got a merchant that absorbs a city-state. Maybe Bologna would be pretty good. Let's absorb Bologna. Let's see what happens here. Nice. 
This is awesome. This spy only takes two turns to do a mission because of the golden age and then uh, linguist, I think. And then the card as well. Yeah, we have uh, this card. Wow, we have a surprise war here. Picked up another city from Grand Columbia and oh, cool. We got the capital, Gilgamesh's capital. She's brought the modern armor armies down to the capital. Finally converted her capital to my religion, so that should help. We're working down the Mayan capital. Playing a rock band here. Okay, pretty good. Okay, we were successful, so we should have that capital. Then we can focus on um, Nubia. Nubia is still only traveling one light year per turn. So I think we have about 25-ish turns at this pace. Hopefully she doesn't launch anything. I've been pillaging her space ports as best as I can. Um, I'm gonna send my, my foment unrest specialist here and hopefully every two turns we can get minus 35 on that. Maybe flip it, we'll see. And then down here, we're getting pretty close, so. There's hope. It's gonna be cl it's gonna be a tight one, but we'll we'll see what happens. I will say it's pretty amazing how fast the AI gets these types of units. Now I remember a couple of years ago, it seemed like maybe at turn 370 they would have units like this, but this is turn 270. That's that's pretty it's a big improvement. We got the capital. Yes, two to go. Here's a cool promotion. Performing a, a concert causes that city to lose 40 loyalty. I'm a little concerned about losing my capital in this war, so let's pay up. This is what it's gonna take to make peace. We succeeded here, so we get this city next turn. Just one left. Looks like our first mission was successful here. I think Nubia is playing a policy card that prevents my rock bands from getting in. I had that in the bag. I had the 40 loyalty ready to go. I guess we just rely on the spies, hope for the best. It's really close. I think we have about 10 turns left if it's one light year per turn. Okay, down to 38 loyalty. Looks like my spy got caught. Okay, success. But now it's gonna take some turns to get back in there. If I could have just played this rock band, I would have won. We just finished a theater square here, but we're not the right religion yet, so we, we don't have Je Jesuit education and we can't buy theater square buildings. So I'm gonna, I bought a bunch of uh, missionaries and apostles here. We'll go convert this and then get the buildings uh, and then put in great works. And we're exactly nine tiles away from the capital. Just had an agent killed here trying to disable this spaceport. Unlocked our tier four government. Here's a card I should have been playing. Increases my uh, spy level by one for offensive operations. Just converted Bologna, so we'll buy, with gold we'll buy the amphitheater and then we'll buy the other things with faith. I have my theater square loaded up in Bologna. So hopefully that does something. She moved a governor in. So that's, uh, it was heading back, yeah, heading back up, but I think these great works will take care of that. This is crazy. So this spy, if we're successful, it'll drop uh, the loyalty 35. Right now she's at 33.5, rising 0.5 per turn. So she would hit 35.0 exactly, and we would, I think we would get that. This is crazy. So she must have just stopped playing the card that prevented my uh, rock bands from coming in. She's at uh, 31, so I'll just play this with uh, the indie promotion. And that should, oh, I lost the unit, but I think it still um, does the trick. Yeah, I think we won. That is crazy. We did it. Wow, that was, that was really close, I think. I think she was probably only a few turns from her, uh, from the exoplanet. She might have had, maybe she had 10 turns, but that was a nail biter. Whew. Wow, that was a fun game. Peaceful domination without settlers or void singers. Cree capital. Mayan capital. Grand Colombian capital, Sumerian capital, and finally the Nubian capital. Thanks for watching. I have a lot of other fun videos planned, and thanks for your support.